Welcome to Caddx TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Friday, May 16th, 2014. A big name from the hedge fund industry, David Einhorn, has cut his stake in Aspen Insurance by about 90%. This is as the future of Aspen continues to be in doubt, so to speak, as it uh, tries to withstand an assault by John Charman and Endurance Specialty Corporation. Charman is interested in acquiring Aspen. Einhorn's hedge fund, Greenlight Capital, has dumped almost 2 million Aspen shares in the last 90 days. It went from 2.185 million shares down to 230,000. Uh, the merger and acquisition struggle has fallen quiet in recent days. However, it's understood that Endurance remains determined to force through a deal with Aspen and will bring forward an enhanced offer soon enough. This is a little bit like a canary in a coal mine. If, uh, Einhorn is bailing out on Aspen, that means he does not think the deal is going to be uh, too favorable, at least to his pocketbook as a major shareholder. Yesterday morning in the height of the rush hour, police ended up sealing off an area of the city of London, very near Lloyd's. When you emerge from the Bank Street tube stop uh, on the central line, you uh, come up to the uh, street level and you are immediately faced with the Bank of England. Yesterday, right there on Threadneedle Street, an abandoned Toyota was there. Uh, police had uh, suspected immediately that there might be a bomb in the car. Uh, they cordoned off the area and told office workers to remain in the building. A uh, robotic bomb disposal machine was sent to look at the car and it was found that there in fact was no bomb on board. However, it did cause disruption. In San Diego County, California, uh, there were nine wildfires burning across the county. Eight of them have been brought under control now, or extinguished, however, one big one, the San Marcos blaze, roared back yesterday afternoon. San Marcos has about 85,000 people in it. It's a town about uh, 80 miles north, or, excuse me, 30 miles north of San Diego. Uh, thus far, uh, eight homes, an 18-unit condominium complex, and two businesses have been destroyed. Uh, the temperature out there is unbearable. It's about 104 degrees. They're going through a very sustained heat wave. It's also extraordinarily dry. And worse yet, police suspect that many of the nine fires were in fact set by arsonists. All state shares were trading down yesterday after the company announced that it estimates about $250 million in additional cat losses for the month of April. This means that uh, the April cat losses came from six different events comes to $250 million before tax and about $180 million after tax. All states' first quarter financials include $445 million as a result of adverse U.S. weather condition claims in the Midwest and eastern regions of the United States. Tower Group has rejected a competing bid from a European insurer Euroins Insurance Group. The bid represented a 50% premium on the offer that Tower is reviewing from Amtrust. Stower said that after due consideration and consultation, the board decided unanimously to reject the proposal. They said that the proposal was less certain and riskier for Tower and would take longer to complete as compared to the transaction contemplated by the merger agreement with Amtrust. India's opposition leader, uh, Narendra Modi, is going to be the next Prime Minister of India. He has uh, won the election and he has ended up throwing out the long dominant Congress party. Uh, Sanjay Gandhi, who is the head of the uh, Congress party, telephoned uh, Mr. Modi earlier today to uh, concede the election to give him congratulations. This is a, a significant shift. It was a smashing victory, actually, and uh, they won a majority of the seats in the uh, Congress, which means they do not have to form a coalition government. Nafila Capital down in Bermuda has committed to invest at least $10 million in the Florida insurer Heritage through a private placement ahead of uh, Heritage's planned IPO. The investment will give Nafila, which currently provides Heritage with covers for its 2014 reinsurance business, the right of first refusal to participate in future reinsurance placements up until May of 2019. This is uh, Frank Majors and company positioning themselves to make sure that they have enough opportunity to deploy their capital for a smart move. A Dutch pension fund for railway workers in Holland uh, called SPFs, which invests over 12.6 billion euros of assets on behalf of its clients, 
uh, sees allocating a portion of its asset base to cat bonds as an investment opportunity with social importance. This is pretty incredible news. 10 or 12 years ago, this would have been unheard of. Cat bonds were viewed as very risky instruments for only very sophisticated investors. And now the Dutch Railway Pension Fund is saying that, in fact, uh, investing in them is a matter of social importance, a bit of a moral obligation. They say that by investing in cat bonds, uh, they're helping insurers pay claims in the event of major natural catastrophes, which would help ultimate insurers to rebuild their lives post-catastrophe. Very forward and interesting thinking on their part. The annual American dog bite statistics are out. Four and a half million Americans were bitten by dogs last year, uh, including, unfortunately, two million children. And, of course, the uh, Postal Service were the, the primary targets of our canine friends, with 5,581 mailmen being bitten. Male, male people, I should say, being bitten. Houston ranked worst in the country for dog attacks on letter carriers. Um, they had 63. Uh, Los Angeles had 61. Cleveland had 58. San Diego had 53. And 47 were in Chicago. State Farm paid out $104 million for 3,700 claims last year, and overall insurers across the United States paid out $483 million in dog bite claims. Of course, uh, California being the largest state in the country had uh, 449 claims. Uh, claimants were paid a total of just about $15 million. So you might want to think about that the next time you see your pet at home, which will probably be tonight. I have two of them, and I think about that all the time. That's the news for today. Have a good weekend. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. If not, we'll see you Monday, and thank you for watching.